Installing the base. Cast a concrete plinth. Position the base. Install the expansion bolt assembly. Fasten the base. Check the levelness and adjust the base. Installing the components. Installing the PMU. Installing the PSUs. Take proper ESD protection measures. For example, wear an ESD wrist strap or a pair of ESD gloves to prevent electrostatic damage to the PMU PSUs. If two PMUs are configured and the ports for monitoring the PMUs are logically on the same bus, the dip switch on the first PMU should be set to 3, and the dip switch on the second PMU should be set to 4. If the ports for monitoring the PMUs are logically on different buses, the settings of the dip switches on the two PMUs are the same. Installing the BBU. Checking the dip switches on the WMPT. Installing the WRFUs. Use both hands to install the RFU because it is heavy. The standard handle is bound to the air inlet at the bottom of the RF cabinet. The standard handle is used for removing the RFU during maintenance. Bind the standard handle to the original position after the operation.
installing the battery and the corresponding cables. Before installation, set the MCB labeled BAT under the PSU to OFF in case of high current. During installation, the positive and the negative poles of batteries must not be short-circuited. The tools such as wrenches and screwdrivers must be insulated. Otherwise, a burnt battery may cause human injuries. Sealing the cable hose. When you remove the fireproof clay, protect the cables from damage by objects with sharp edges. When you seal a cable hole with the fireproof clay, make the clay a little bulky from the cable hole. Installing the components. Installing the PMU. Installing the PSUs. Take proper ESD protection measures, for example, wear an ESD wrist strap or a pair of ESD gloves to prevent electrostatic damage to the PMU PSUs. If two PMUs are configured and the ports for monitoring the PMUs are logically on the same bus, the dip switch on the first PMU should be set to 3, and the dip switch on the second PMU should be set to 4. If the ports for monitoring the PMUs are logically on different buses, the settings of the dip switches on the two PMUs are the same. Installing the BBU. Checking the dip switches on the WMPT. Installing the WRFUs. Use both hands to install the RFU because it is heavy. The standard handle is bound to the air inlet at the bottom of the RF cabinet. The standard handle is used for removing the RFU during maintenance. Bind the standard handle to the original position after the operation.
Installing the battery and the corresponding cables. Before installation, set the MCB labeled BAT under the PSU to OFF in case of high current. During installation, the positive and the negative poles of batteries must not be short-circuited. The tools such as wrenches and screwdrivers must be insulated. Otherwise, a burnt battery may cause human injuries. Installing the power cable between the DCDU and the RFU. Installing the CIPRI cable. For the CIPRI cables rooted out of the cabinet, you are advised to coat them with PVC corrugated pipes. Installing the RF jumpers. The DIN connectors should be added to the RF jumper on site. For the adding method, refer to the instruction guide packed in the DIN connector bag. The rules of attaching color rings are subject to the local standards. The color rings should face the same direction. Each color ring should be wrapped for two or three layers and the up layer should cover the lower one. The cable trough on the left is used for the cabling of the PGND cable, equipotential cable, input power cable for the power cabinet, and the input power cable for the heater in the transmission cabinet. The cable trough on the right is used for the cabling of the power cable for the transmission cabinet, cables for the battery, E1-T1 cable, monitoring signal cable for the transmission cabinet, and the CIPRI cables. Installing the PGND cables. The cable trough of the RF cabinet is located between the outer and inner shares of the cabinet and placed on the left and right sides of the cabinet.